Walter Mondale has lived a life in public service. His career has placed him at the center of actions and events that transformed the Democratic Party, the face of American politics, and the character of the nation in the decades following World War II. As a United States Senator, he was instrumental in helping to achieve the passage of pivotal consumer protection, education, and social justice legislation. As Vice President, his vision of what the office could be and his close working relationship with President Jimmy Carter reshaped the character of the office of the Vice President. As a presidential candidate, he made history by selecting Geraldine Ferraro as his running mate, the first woman to appear on a major party presidential ticket. He continued to serve his country as ambassador to Japan. One of his most important roles is the one he is engaged in now, sharing his experiences and knowledge through working with students and by participating in a variety of public policy forums to educate future leaders. The Mondale Papers fit squarely within the Society's extensive public affairs collections. The public affairs collections begin in 1819 with the journals of Indian agent Lawrence Tolliver, the area's first resident public official, and they continue to the present. They include the records and papers of all of Minnesota's governors and most of its U.S. representatives and senators, including the complete senatorial and vice presidential libraries of Hubert H. Humphrey and Walter F. Mondale, as well as material relating to local political organizations. Altogether, the Mondale Collection and other public affairs materials held in the library of the Minnesota Historical Society provide a rich resource for researchers. Everyone is welcome to use these materials, from History Day students to professors, government officials to lawyers and the general public. Come see what you can find out about the political legacy of our great state.